Hi, I'm John Murdy, creative director, producer of Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios Hollywood with Lee Wanell, writer, director, and star of Insidious 3. So you were at our maze a couple of years ago. What is it like to be you know, not only the writer and director, but you're also one of the stars of the film and to meet yourself before you even go in the maze. What was that, that like? That was bizarre. I mean, I remember turning up to that first maze and seeing these two actors, you know, <laughs> one playing Tucker and one playing me, essentially. It, it's interesting. I think it's great because Spex and Tucker are kind of the comedic element of the film. They provide levity. It's great to have them outside the maze because as soon as they step through those doors into the maze, yeah, there's, no, there's no levity. <laughs> you know, it's over. Like, there's no more fun. You're just screaming the whole time. So I feel like it's great to keep them interested. It's all part of the experience. To this day, it remains the highest guest rated maze in the history of Halloween Horror Nights. And now we have to top it. And I was trying to figure <laughs> out how to do that. But when I read your script, and I read about the man who can't breathe, I knew that was the way we had to top it. And one detail I love about it is the, the footprints. What was it that, that made you think of doing that, that like a, an actual physical thing that he leaves behind? For me, the footprints is another way to, to say to the audience, he's nearby. And it's also a great thing to have characters follow them, because you know you're yeah. not going somewhere good. As soon as you see those footprints leading into a dark hallway, it's not gonna end well. And that's what our guests are gonna experience. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Of course, the red door is an icon from the other Insidious movies. Right. And you're going to see the red door, but then you're going to see the red elevator, and you're going yeah. to see those footprints. And like you said, you know where it's leading is not good. Yeah, that's how I want the fans of Halloween Horror Nights to feel. When they step into this new Insidious maze, I want them to see those footprints and go, oh man, like just anything could happen at this moment. Yeah, Basically, I want every, every moment of that maze to just be filled with dread. And I mean, that's what you guys are so great at, and I, I'm, I'm glad the footprints are helping with that.